Ian Lee's Galloway. Thank you very much, Mr Chair. I'd like to um, follow on from uh, Phil Twyford and, and support uh, him in his uh, supplementary order paper. Uh, Dr Paul Hutchison actually hit the nail on the head with this one when he said that the people of Pukekohe, uh, who he represents, were um, disturbed by the proliferation of liquor licences that were suddenly applied for uh, as, as retailers knew that this legislation was coming into place. Now, what the government has effectively done, what Judith Collins has effectively done, is given those potential licensees a further 12-month window in which to race to their local authorities and get those licences uh, agreed to before communities get to have their say. And let's be absolutely clear about this, because there has been some misrepresentation in the House today about uh, what some of these amendments actually do. And the Minister, Judith Collins, has utterly misrepresented the position uh, that Phil Twyford is promoting, because he is not requiring councils to stand up a uh, local uh, liquor plan within the first 12 months. His amendment empowers them to do so if they want to. That is all it does. It puts the, uh, the authority, the control, back into local communities. But I don't, want to, I don't want to litigate all the reasons we know why, but we know that this government hates local communities having local control over local decisions. The power of central government has been strengthened enormously under this, government, under this national government and they have, they have eroded democracy in local communities and this is just another example of it. Mr Chair, I want to refer to a situation uh, in my own electorate where uh, the big barrel chain wants to open uh, another store. Now, I've sat down with the gentlemen uh, who are going to run that store, who run other big barrel stores in Palmerston North, and they want to open this one up. I actually think they're reasonable people. They support a minimum price because they want a level playing field across all off-licence retailers. They support uh, limited trading hours. They said, we want to go home at night. Uh, but they also said, again, they want a level playing field across all operators. They want to be able to operate more responsibly, but they don't want to have to compete against other operators who may choose not to operate so responsibly. So I think these guys, as, as, as uh, off-licence operators go, they're pretty good. But I do not believe that we need another outlet in that part of town, in the Westbrook part of Palmerston North, and the local community is absolutely dead against it. They do not want that outlet to open. Now, if it was replacing another operator so that there would not be one more outlet, but it might be uh, the same number of outlets but being operated in a, in a better way, then the community might be a little bit happier with that. But they do not want one more. But their opinion counts for nothing, nothing, until this provision actually is enacted, and they are going to have to wait another 12 months before they can have their say. Well, the decision about that big barrel store will be long in the past by the time this provision uh, is available to the people of Palmerston North who want to have a say about it. And all it does is give them that opportunity. It does not force the Palmerston North City Council to have a local liquor plan. It allows them to if they want to. And I know from my community that they would because my community is screaming out for the opportunity to do this. And I'm sure that many other members in the House, and I can hear uh, other members saying the same thing, uh, they want their communities to be have, able to have the... the uh, opportunity as well. So I haven't heard this afternoon, Mr Chair, any substantive arguments against uh, Mr Twyford's amendment. I've only heard uh, that the Minister received advice. We don't know what that advice was. It was obviously convenient advice because it has worked for what she wanted to do, but we have not heard a substantive argument against this. E equally, 
I have not heard a substantive argument against my amendment in supplementary order paper number 40 to reduce the blood alcohol limit for drivers from 0.08 to 0.05. Without such an argument, it should go ahead. Uh, Mr. Chair. Honourable Chester Morris. Oh, thank you, Mr. Chair, and uh, thank you for the opportunity.